Good morning guys, this is Carrie from Texas. How are you doing today? Wanted to just pop in today and kind of give you an update on my RSD and how that's been affected by my weight loss. And I wanted to see how you were doing. Um, I know that the summer can be really difficult for those of us who suffer with RSD and I just wanted to send you a quick um, message of encouragement and um, positive reinforcement. So how are you doing? I would really love to hear from you. Um, I have had quite a few people respond to my videos and um, would just really love to know how you're doing and um, if your support mechanisms, wherever you are, are in place. I do speak to people all over the world that suffer with this disease and that support is a lot different from country to country. So I hope wherever you are, you are finding the support you need. If you're not, you should reach out to the RSD Foundation here in, in the United States as they have a wonderful referral program and network of contacts. So I would encourage you if, you, if you're struggling with the support mechanism to reach out to them. It's a wonderful organization. So um, as many of you know, I, have been a sufferer of RSG for many years and I have uh, had a pain in pump planted since 2008. Uh, no, sorry, 2007. And I'm on my third implant. Um, my implants have a tendency to stop working at the five year mark, um, which is fast approaching um, this year in December. So I am definitely hoping that is not on the cards. Um, I decided last year because I was having so many, so many problems with my feet, my extremities, my legs, um, that's where my RSD started was in my left ankle and it's traveled up my left leg through my knee and then down on the, in the same area on my right, uh, leg and ankle. And so I decided because I have in the last many years that I've been on opioids, put on so much weight, I decided to take matters into my own hands to see if I could improve my health and I went through weight loss surgery in December. And since December I have lost over 60 pounds and my RSD is markedly improved. So much so that I, I've even asked my specialist if he thinks that I'm in remission. And there is no such thing as remission with RSD, unfortunately. So, um, you know, I'm sort of, I'm sort of was hoping that I could get off the opioids and get my pain pump, you know, removed. But at this stage of the game, um, that's too risky because there's been no documented cases of full remission with RSD. So all I can do is take the, um, pain implant, the pump, and reduce the amount of medicine that I'm on, which hopefully will um, keep my weight loss where I want it to be, so I'm not suffering with the side effects of opioid. Um, most people, when they're on opioids, put on a significant amount of weight. I was one of them, and I just knew that if I didn't take matters into my own hands that I was going to start to see more underlying health problems and my RSD would continue to get worse instead of get better. So I did that in December and um, the pain levels in my legs have drastically reduced. And so for me, it was the right decision. Um, it may not be the right decision for you, but I wanted to at least put this out there so you know that if you are an RSD sufferer and you have put on a significant, significant amount of weight because of the opioids, maybe this is a, a opportunity for you. I did not have any complications from the actual surgery. Um, you know, whenever you have a surgery, you run the risk of causing the RSD to locate in that particular area. That did not happen, and so I feel very fortunate about that. It's one of the risks that I accepted in making that decision. Would I do it again? Yes. Would I have, um, did I have complications and what is, was it hard? Yes. 
Um, but right now I'm doing really well. I just was cleared to go to every three months and I'm starting to be able to get back into more of a normal routine when it comes to my food and I'm continuing to drop the weight. Hopefully by my goal, um, which is a year, I will have lost anywhere from 80 to 100 pounds. Right now I'm, I'm over halfway there, I'm over 60 pounds. So I feel very good about my decision and I'm feeling much, much better. But this decision may not be the right decision for you, but I at least wanted to talk about it and let you know that it is something that um, you might wanna consider. Because when you take the weight off, you take away the um, opportunity for all of the other underlying health problems that you get from weight, high blood pressure, uh, increased arthritis pain because of the weight that you're carrying, just so many other things, pre-diabetic, I mean, you name it, and the weight is, is bad news. It's not good for us. And so um, I feel blessed and very lucky that I've done as well as I, I've had. The only real complication I've had is an ulcer uh, from the surgery that has healed. And so I'm, I'm doing really well. And I just wanted to share that and encourage you to look for other opportunities and other ways that you can um, get your RSD under control. May not be for everybody, like I said, but I at least wanted to bring it to your attention that it worked for me and I'm very, very pleased that I made the decision. So please stop by my channel. You know, my channel um, is designed to help everybody successfully have it all. And having it all means having good health. And if you're not having good health, um, that can lead to so many other complications in our life. So if these messages can help you um, take some steps to get your health you know, back on track or get your RSD at a place that's much manage more manageable, then I'm all about leaving these messages and posting encouraging supportive um, advice to you as a fellow RSD patient. So please stop by my channel and like and subscribe and leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you will. Um, I would really appreciate it. They do help me and it does um, give me the vehicle for which that I can help in some way for those who are also struggling with this terrible disease. So God bless. I hope you have a very wonderful, safe summer, and I'll catch up with you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.